I normally start my reading year out by rereading my favorite book of the previous year, but one of my New Year's resolutions is to rid myself of the necessity of ceremony. So I picked up a random book. I put Little by Edward Carey on hold from the library, I don't even know how long ago, probably right when it, right when it was published, because I remember seeing it at a bookstore and was like, oh, what's this? I like the cover. Didn't know at all what it was about. Um, but I put it on hold from the library and that became available like right on January 1st. And I was like, this is a sign. This means something. Just kidding. No, I'm getting rid of ceremony. I picked this book because it was in front of me and I liked the cover. The cover is red. Um, that's not why I like it. But going into this book without knowing anything about what it was about allowed me to enjoy it in many different ways. The blurb or jacket copy of this book will explain to you that this is the story of Madame Tussaud, the woman who crafts wax replicas of humans. But I had no idea that that's what this book was. I, I thought this book was a book about a girl named Marie who was living during the late 1700s in uh, France who learned how to make wax sculptures. It's never actually explained to you that it's the story of Madame Tussaud, which I don't think takes away or gives you anything knowing that in advance or not knowing that, vice versa, all of the caveats. I think that this book is what it is. What this book is to me is an experiment. You know, I think of the term modern classic, and what that means is a modern novel that will be made classic. This book, however, is a modern classic in the sense that it is a modern book about the classical. So I guess it's a modern classical. I mean, it's historical fiction, but it's beyond historical fiction, and let me tell you why. If somebody had handed me this text and said, hey, Anne Bronte wrote a book, more Charlotte, I suppose. If somebody handed me this text and said, hey, Charlotte Bronte wrote a book, this is the book, what do you think? I would have thought, oh, that's a nice novel, probably written back in the day. What Edward Carey does is craft grammatically, syntactically, a Victorian novel. He crafts a story of romance, and I think that that is absolutely so brilliant. On a sentence-by-sentence -sentence level, on a paragraph-by-paragraph -paragraph level, we get a novel that reads like any classical author would write. And there is something to that. There is, you know, when somebody says, oh, I'm reading Jane Eyre, or I'm reading North and South, or I'm reading Little Women, you kind of know the bravado of text that is going to be experienced, and that bravado comes from syntax and grammar, like I said before, but then also word choice, and word placement, and the place where thoughts come from, and the story structure, and you know how grand it all feels, because, you know, this is pre-minimalism, and there's something beautiful about that. And to get that in 2018, which is at the end of 2018 was when this was published, and then read it in 2019, because it's two days in and the whole world's changed, right? To read this book now is kind of an exciting experience. Now the thing on top of this is, this book is written with the historical knowledge that somebody in the Victorian era would not possess. And so we get a lot of extra fun historical details that, you know, Charlotte Bronte would not be able to write about because they wouldn't know about them. So Edward Carey wrote a modern classic, a modern novel that is classical, and I, I find that to be a, a brilliant achievement. Also, this book was really entertaining. What a great way to start out 2019. I think it's so much fun to read this very immersive, very involved text. It is a longer book, which I know is the reason why a lot of people are staying away from it, but it's something that really kind of struck me, and I got a beautiful historical fiction. It plays with themes of memory and of loss and of grief and of decay, all things that I love, love reading about. Memory in particular, I love books about memory, but I also love all of the gross human stuff. And in a text where very vividly described are human body parts and heads, I, I think that this really does both shove the metaphor into your face and analyze it in more delicate ways. So Little by Edward Carey for me was a 4 out of 5 star read. I don't know what would particularly make it not a 5 star read, other than the fact that I didn't feel like it was a 5 star read. 
Generally, my five stars goes to books that I would reread. I don't know if I would reread this one, but I would recommend it to anyone looking for a good historical fiction, looking for a very involved and and dense but rich story. So that's it. That's my first review of 2019, and hopefully there will be more in this vein. I like reading books that I like, and I don't like reading books that I don't like. Because I'm a human. If you have any questions, thoughts, comments, opinions, or beliefs, otherwise put those down below. I would love to talk to you about this book. Have you read it? Have you not? Do you want to? Did you know that it existed? I don't know. Let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon.